Let's factor the equation 3x squared plus 13x plus 4 equals 0, and we'll use these rules to help us. This particular equation looks a little bit daunting, but if we approach it systematically, we should be okay. The first thing we want to do is set up a skeleton equation. So we can set this up here like this, and now we can look at the signs. So if we have positive, positive, that means all the terms are positive. We have positives after the x here in our skeleton. So because we have the 3 here, let's put a 3 just in front of this one here. Then when we're looking for factors, normally we look at the last term, this 4 here, find the factors of 4, and they'll equal the middle term. But this 3 makes it so we really can't do it that way. So what I'd like to do is just take a look at this 4, look at the factors of 4. 1 times 4, 2 times 2, and that's it. And I'm just going to systematically put these in until the whole thing adds up to 13x. So let's see how that works. If I put 1 here and 4 here, I can see that I'm going to have 3x times 4 and then the 1 times the x. That's 12x plus 1. That's 13. So the first one actually worked. If it didn't, I would probably put a 2 and a 2, or I might put the 4 here and the 1 here. One of those combinations will work. So let's just use the FOIL method, make sure we have this correct. First terms, 3x times x, that's 3x squared. Then the outside, 3x times 4, that's the 12x. Inside, 1 times x, that's just x. And then the last terms, 1 times 4, that's 4. So all of that equals 0. We can add these two together, since they're both the same. 3x squared plus 13x plus 4. 4, that equals 0. So we know that we factored that correctly by using the FOIL method to check our work. Let's now find the values for x that when we plug them into the equation here, they'll make this entire side equal 0. So what I can do is say 3x plus 1 equals 0. 3x would then equal negative 1. x would equal a negative 1 third. Over here, x plus 4, that equals 0, so x equals a uh, negative 4. So if I put 1 third in, negative 1 third here in for x, and I do the math, all of this will end up equaling 0. Likewise, if I were to put a negative 4 in for both of these x's here, and then just work the math out, all of this would equal 0. That's how you factor and find the solution to 3x squared plus 13x plus 4 equals 0. You could also use the quadratic equation. It would give you the same answers. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.